Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, one of the questions that popped up yesterday and of course we were talking about the browser market how the dominance of Google Chrome is obvious and amazing and uh, what came of course as a question is well is Google Chrome that good and um, dominance and being good often are necess not necessarily the same thing. Although Google Chrome is not a bad browser per se, it uh, has several things that propelled it to the top. First of all, when it actually started its development a long, long time ago, we were dominated by Internet Explorer, which was about a 60-65% of the market share. So it was close to what Google Chrome is today in dominance. And as time went by, um, Google Chrome slowly took pace. And it took pace for several reasons. First of all, the antitrust issues with Microsoft did uh, have an impact on its browser and on its popularity. Uh, people were kind of looking for something else. And Google did something that actually was probably the main good idea. And it's to have a standardized um, web and everything from the browser was to be, um, you know, not just a standard, but also open source so that anybody could just go and work on it and help the browser and help the project continue growing. Internet Explorer was proprietary to Microsoft. Only Microsoft could work on it. Um, and so that didn't help. Firefox did reach a certain level it was about 30 some percent at some point which wasn't too bad actually but a series of decisions and also the fact that it has its own engines and that at times it did actually create issues uh, over time people kind of left and everybody was kind of joining google chrome as it was the new thing and you know people moved to a certain platform and sometimes you wonder why. Sometimes you wonder why is it that people are here rather than there. Um, you know, uh, you look at the platform's quality, the platform's way of being, and you totally understand that. Well, it's okay, but it's it's far from being the best one out there. You know, and um, well, that's the way it is. People move on to certain platforms, and the more people are there, the more people tell others. Well, you know, that's what I use, and that's what I. Uh, I want to do, you know, in the dark days of uh, the other thing also is and uh, there was dark days of Internet Explorer that I call. There were some Internet Explorer versions that were extremely crappy um, as a tech guy. I was in the middle of that uh, where, you know, Internet Explorer six, for example, arrived and seven. And I do remember how horrible these versions were at the time. And, um, you know, Chrome was gaining popularity. There was all sorts of uh, things that were popping up and saying, hey, we got this new browser and, you know, the marketing effect. Google, like, like today, if you go to Google with an Edge browser, often there's a pop-up that says, well, you know, we've got that great thing that you could use Google Chrome instead. Um, that is something that was there and very, very, um, you know, always stuck to, well, you know, maybe we have a better browser for you. And when Internet Explorer experienced some of its bad versions, uh, well, you know what? That helped Google Chrome also get a lot more momentum because people were looking for a web browser that, that works well and isn't sluggish and doesn't have all of these issues. So at some point, Google Chrome just took over. And um, the lack of... So is it a good browser is the question, the basic question here. Um, and it's not a bad browser, honestly. But, um, you know, it's Google products. It's uh, Some people don't like it for that reason. It does tend to sometimes use a little too much resources. So when you took a look at the task manager, yes, there is need for a more efficient Google Chrome browser. I think that would probably be... Uh, nice to see if we could have a Google Chrome that uses a little less resources over time. 
Uh, sometimes it did suffer in some versions of runaway, you know, memory leaks and so on. Um, there's place for improvement for sure, but it's not a bad browser per se. And the fact that it has all of these standards that are what the web is, uh, is nice. Now, that said, what I would um, not like to see is that everybody abandoned their own proprietary, like Firefox, for example, which is not based on Chromium. Pretty much the only browser left not based on Chromium. Um, you know, if that would go away, I think that would be sad. I think we don't necessarily want a world where everything is revolving around the same basic feature, the same basic engine, which is Chromium. Uh, you know, Edge now is around Chromium, and Opera's on Chromium, Brave is on Chromium, everything's on Chromium, um, except Firefox. Um, you know, that's not always a good idea for everything to be in one dominant platform, uh, but that seems to be the way moving forward, and the fact that it's open source is probably one of the reasons why it's appealing for a lot of developers also. So that's pretty much what I have to say. It's not a bad browser, like I said. There are places for improvements, definitely. But um, as I always say, the browser you use is really very personal. Um, if you use Edge and you like it, fine. I use Edge a lot. Um, if you use Firefox and you like it, it's fine. If you use any other thing, it's fine. It's you know a lot more of a personal thing than anything else. There are browsers that have you know options that are interesting more than others. There are browsers that track you less than Google Chrome, absolutely. Um, it all depends on where you stand and where you are and you know where it actually is something that you care about or not. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.